video, we'll extract tweets from Twitter and analyze the people sentiments. Here we'll learn how to utilize the combination of Python and Oracle to achieve this. Oracle Data Science Platform allows us to create the Jupyter Notebook and run our Python scripts. Twitter provides the access to the tweets through the API. We have registered with Twitter to get the key and token for authentication. Using Tweepy API, we will create the connection to extract the tweets. First, we'll need to import the basic libraries and assign the token keys to the variables. Now we'll need to authenticate the handler using consumer keys and set the access token. Secondly, we'll define the keywords for the tweets which need to be accessed and search for them. As there is a limit of 200 tweets which can be fetched in one search, we'll need to create a while loop to fetch all the tweets for storing in the same list form. Once all the tweets are fetched, we can perform text cleaning operations like removing stop words, URLs, etc. to avoid biasing during the modeling. Now we can export it to a CSV file or directly load it into the database. Here we've exported it into a file. Next, we'll quickly create the sentiments for the tweets using Oracle Analytics Cloud. To do that, we'll create the data flow and select the data either from the file or can be directly accessed from the database. We will now add the step of Analyze Sentiment and select the text column in the parameter section. The column will be created with the name Emotion containing text sentiments. We will now save the data. Our last step is to visualize the sentiments generated. We can create a project with sentiments data. To quickly create the visualization, we can use OAC's natural language generation feature to fetch quick insights. Here we can see mostly the tweets are with a positive or neutral sentiment, and these are the tweets with the greatest number of retweets or favorite count. It's also interesting to note that whenever there's a reply to any user, it didn't have any negative sentiments. In the second canvas, we can see the retweet count distribution, retweet count on the basis of the weekday it was posted, different users with the retweet count, and tweets with the retweet count. From the second graph, we can infer that tweets posted on a Thursday have the most number of retweets. From the third graph, we can identify the most influential users, or users whose posts are getting a higher number of retweets. And the last graph tells us the tweets with the highest retweet count. And that's it for today's bite-sized analytics demo on Oracle Analytics Cloud's natural language generation feature, which you can see is very useful for generating insight and effortlessly presenting the data story, in this case for Twitter sentiment analysis. If you'd like to know more about these techniques or capabilities, or for other use cases or general inquiries, you can get in touch with us with any of the details on screen. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more bite-sized analytics videos.